All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, Merry Christmas. It's time for something absolutely insane. At this point, you know about my addiction with Create Mod Trains. It's no secret that I love them. Just the train tracks. Look at this. But Create Mod Trains have one problem. When you make a train with Create and you assemble it, you can't change any of the blocks on the train. And that is pretty sad. One of my first ideas I had when they added trains to Create was to make a base on a train. But you can't interact with any of the blocks on the train. So no sleeping in the beds, no crafting in the crafting tables. And that sounds like a pretty bad base to me. <laughs> but today, the Valkyrian Skies team released Create Inter interactive <laughs> And let me tell you, there's a reason why we have a train buffer here. This thing, this thing makes a difference. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. So this is my first time looking at it. I just downloaded the mod. I have no idea how it works. So basically, when you make a train, right, you glue everything together and you assemble it. Uh, oh yeah, we need train controls. Whoops. Uh, <clears throat> that's here. There we go. And assemble. So normally in Create, you can't remove any of these blocks. When you've assembled your train, you've assembled your train and you can't change anything. But as you can see, there are hitboxes on these slabs and I believe... <laughs> We can break the train and we can build on it while it's assembled. I mean, you see how this train is moving, right? And we can build on it. It's, it's, it's possible. If I'd have to rate the different Create Mod add-ons and how much they've changed my life, this is on the top. This is the best one. For the Create Mod train enjoyers, this is life-changing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start crying. I mean, I don't even know what to do. There are so many things I want to try out that I've never been able to try out before. But first off, I'm pretty sure we can derail the trains. They released a trader video where a train derailed. And I want to see that. I, I want to know how it looks like when the train derails. Because you'll know this if you've played with Create Trains before, but uh, normally when you get to the end of a track, the train just stops violently, just boom, which is pretty unrealistic. And I just just realized I forgot to put a seat on this train. Looks like I'm gonna have to disassemble. Oh no, wait. I just realized don't have to do that anymore. I can just put it on here and what the f what happened to the train controls? No. They just released this, right? So there's probably going to be a bunch of bugs. It will not surprise me if I crash. Let's see. Moment of truth. Derail the train. What happens? Oh no, I don't know. This is so oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> My neighbors are gonna call the cops on me. And not for the reasons you think. Okay, so I guess the collision for the train buggy starts up here. Is that one full block? Yeah. So the lower part of the buggy does not have collision, and that is why it's sunken into the sun. Oh no! <laughs> I just broke the buggy. <laughs> What's happening? I'm so confused. Can I still drive the train? Oh! Oh! Wait, it fell off and then landed? Okay. I just realized five different things simultaneously here. First off, if I place a sand here, <gasps> it falls down according to the train and then it boop, ends up aligned to the real world. Oh. I just realized that if you've never played with Create Mod Trains before, you have no idea how cool this is. You're just gonna watch this and be like, yeah, well, what do you mean? It's it's a train with physics. Why would it not move? But this is a game changer. So I want to know what happens if I drive the train. Can I control it? I cannot. It appears the train is no longer sitting on a connected track. So normally you use a wrench to move a train. I don't know if we can do that with this little physics object. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the train is here. On these no what right, this train is officially dead i'm so sorry but i mean you're affected by physics so we well there goes the train. all right and now you understand why there's a train buffer that item is huge that's what she's so if we place this train buffer and make another train i guess it's gonna just stop the train from crashing all right so what happens now the train controls is weird again that's dumb let's go into the buffer and see no we derailed again okay making an oh making another train for the fifth time in a row okay let's go into it slowly slowly and peacefully right into it will it stop us see we're going over the thing i can see that the wheels are going over the end of the track are we gonna drive straight over i don't no it's a derail train but it stopped here now Ow. okay maybe the train buffer just doesn't have its feature yet or you know it could just be that i'm incredibly dumb which is usually the case oh and by the way i'm like two subscribers away from 500,000. please subscribe time for test number two and that is a train crash my friends we're gonna make one train over here boom bam, bam, boom smack and another train over here and i want to drive this train but we need someone else to drive this train and i'm alone so we're gonna have to get a mob to do that i'll make a friend this is what i usually do okay so these trains are different right can we still make train schedules that is the question i want this chicken to go to station goal. I have no clue if this is gonna work. Let's see. That works. Okay, that is good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Um. Yeah, so it seems I am in an unfortunate situation. Oh, we're floating. My train's got buoyancy. That's cool, huh? <laughs> it's got a floating train. Where's the train? <laughs> I just... <laughs> 
where the chicken went like 20 blocks. I'm all the way <laughs> Titanic in the ocean. What? All right, train crashes work. Time for test number three. I call this one the flying train. See, since the trains can derail, I wonder what happens if we drive at full speed onto a ramp and then fly off at the end. I don't know if it's going to work. I just really, really hope it will. Honestly, I have no idea why this isn't a thing in real life. I mean, I'd pay a lot of money to see trains jump up in the air. Here we go. Seat, super glue, and assemble. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. <laughs> All right, please look cool. Please look cool. Oh, yes. All right, into the water we go. Oh, and it's going back. Wow, look at that. But that's not it. No, we also have the Create Interactive Propagator Bearing with a mass of 1,000 kilograms. All the Americans out here crying right now. 1,000 kilograms actually equates to about four and a half metric feet ton of football fields. So you're gonna do it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should not make fun of Americans, actually. They make up most of my audience. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe if you're American. I, I love you and your feet and your... No, no, don't do that! <laughs> Not the feet or your body. <laughs> feet the feet. All right, Cal, you're about to see something revolutionary. This is the propagator bearing, and I'm not sure how it works, but I'm guessing it can make things spin. So let's place a block on here and right-click it. It spins! And the thing is, we're used to this. This is just a normal bearing, right? I mean, if I show you this here, the mechanical bearing, we do the same thing here. We place a grass block on top and right-click. See? It's, it's, it's literally the same thing, except for the fact that it's not. If you make a mechanical bearing and create and turn it on, you cannot interact with the blocks on it. But now you can. What? Look, look, we're spinning! <laughs> this means you can actually make a spinning base on top of a bearing. Look at this. I'm building in a spinning world. Okay, check this out. If we build this thing, I'm getting dizzy by just looking at this. If I go into here, I can live my life in here. I would not know. You see, this looks like it's standing still. But then we look out and... <laughs> We're moving! This is so huge! Can I- I mean, we can even crouch on here, we can go out- Okay, I fell off. We can build... I wonder- wait, does fluids work? Oh, what? It works on the- wait, it works on the normal bearing as well! I had no idea! Wait, water! Whoa, fluids work! Oh! Alright, I looked it up, and the propagator bearing is not here to make physics on a mechanical bearing a thing. It's here so you can have a bearing on a bearing, I'm pretty sure? Like, if I place this on here, we can make more things spin, like, on the bearing that is- <gasps> This might seem like a very specific thing to want a bearing to spin on top of a bearing, but let me tell you, this has been a dream of mine for a very long time. If you go back in my channel, there's a build battle I made where we made amusement park things, like amusement rides, and Rage Plays Games was in that video. It's the first time I had him in a video. Very, very cool person. You've probably seen his videos. And in that video, I wanted to make a duck ride. I wanted to have a mechanical bearing in the center, and then arms that went out like this. This is gonna look really bad. And then mechanical bearings out here so I could spin where you were sitting, right? And it was actually when making in that video that I learned that you couldn't place mechanical bearings on top of, you know, already active contraptions. Okay, talking to you, and... Boom! Okay, goes up, and... I had no idea that was a thing, but this means, hopefully, that we can replace these with the propagator bearings. Place, I don't know, whatever on here. I'll just place a seed or something. There we go. Like this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this thing is now spinning. I'm gonna have to make it a bit slower so I can build on it, because we need to power the bearings on here as well. I guess with creative motors, like this. No. Oh, wait, do I have to glue this again? I have to... Oh, what? Does this work? Oh. <gasps> All I want for Christmas is oxygen, because I'm about to pass out. Check this out. Oh, well, the seat doesn't really work. <laughs> Crazy stuff right here. You know what I really want to do now? Create mod survival on a spinning world. Like, I'll get a mechanical bearing, build an island on top of it, and then just make it spin, and then survive on that small little spinning island. <laughs> that would be fun. I know you don't want to listen to me talk about how awesome this is. I've been doing this for like 50 minutes. I'm going to have to cut out so many this is awesome sentences. But it really is awesome. And I have one final thing I want to test out. One of my first Create Mod Train videos was about making a base on a Create Mod Train, which I realized pretty fast that you can't do, because obviously you can place any books or interact with any books on the train. But with what I've seen today, it looks like we're going to be able to do that. And I mean, if, if this works, I'm going to have to make an entire video about just this, because that is, this is going to be so cool. This is the train, right? And please, I, w I need this to work. Let's see. If I place water on here. Oh my. Oh my. Well, as you can see, the water is moving and flowing on the train. And I mean, if the water is working, everything else works too. We can finally make a fully interactable create mod survival train in the next video. Because I've actually screamed too much while making this video. So the cops are outside right now banging on my door.